Machine tool maintenance is all about maintaining the right conditions to produce high quality cuts. It's not something you can think of only in terms of 4,000 mile oil changes and 50,000 mile tune-ups. It's more than that. Machine tool maintenance is an ongoing activity that combines periodic machine adjustments with good work habits on a day-to-day -day basis. Operating the machine in a safe manner and in a clean work environment is the first step in preventing accidental damage to the machine's components. This is especially true with the ways. Any nicks or damage to the surface of the ways will prevent the carriage from seating properly. To prevent accidental damage, use a lathe board whenever you're changing chucks or mounting heavy workpieces. If the chuck slips out of your hands, the lathe board will prevent it from falling on the ways. The ways are not a shelf for your tools. Keep your tools off the lathe. Put them on another table or on a shelf below the lathe. Don't put tools on an open shelf above the machine where they could vibrate off and fall onto the ways. It's also very important to clean away metal chips as your work progresses. This is not only the acceptable safe way to work, it will also prevent small chips or filings from scoring the surface of the ways. A good shop vac makes simple work of the small chips. I don't recommend blowing the chips away with a compressed air hose. It's dangerous and it just forces the chips deeper into the machine's bearings. Special precautions should be taken for dusty materials like wood, plastics, and cast iron because the dust will cling to all the machine's lubrication. The dust from cast iron is also very abrasive. If you're working with cast iron, clean the ways often. And after you've finished, remove and clean the way wipes. The way wipes should also be replaced as soon as they're worn out. Chips will find their way into the lathe chucks, and if not removed, will damage the chuck. Remove the jaws and clean the chucks frequently. Also pay attention to the spindle tapers. The spindle sockets should be inspected and cleaned with a soft cotton cloth every time you change tools. Lubricating the bearings, the ways, and the feed screws is an essential part of running a smithy, and yet too often it's neglected. Oiling should become as routine as turning the motor on and off. It should be the first thing you do when you begin a day's work, and the last thing you do after you've cleaned up at the end of the day. It's just one of those things you have to do in order to maintain the right conditions required to produce high quality cuts. Go through the same procedure you used when you set up your machine for the first time. Hit all the oil buttons, the ways, and the lead screw. Use good quality oil and stick with your routine. There are also a number of adjustments that should be checked on a regular basis in order to keep your machine in good condition. We've already talked about the importance of maintaining the proper belt tension. This is a routine adjustment that should be checked every time you change the drive belts. Gib adjustments also have an effect on a machine's performance. However, if the machine is oiled on a regular basis and the lock nuts on the gib set screws are tight, the gib settings should remain constant. The cross slide feed screw on a smithy machine is equipped with a backlash compensating nut. This nut can be adjusted to reduce the amount of backlash in the cross slide. The nut is located under the table, but the adjustments are not hard to do. The important thing to remember is that you'll never be able to totally eliminate backlash. Every machine tool that uses threaded rods has it. You should only make this adjustment if the backlash on your machine exceeds the machine's original specifications. One of the most important adjustments on the lathe is the alignment between the tailstock barrel and the headstock spindle. For normal turning, these two points must be perfectly aligned. Checking and adjusting this alignment is not difficult, but it does require the use of measuring tools. The offset gauge on the back of the tailstock is only used as a guide for approximate placement. The biggest enemy of any machine tool is rust, especially if you live in a very humid climate. The best protection from rust is to keep the machine clean and coated with oil that's specially formulated to inhibit corrosion. We also recommend keeping the machine covered when it's not in use. And if you're going to store the machine over a long period of time, the cover should be ventilated.